Jesus is about to demonstrate his love and compassion on this one man. Brother Roger, I've seen this and I about, I about fell over in my chair in my office. It said that Jesus, when he gets done here, there's only one guy that gets healed. There's only one guy that gets changed. But there's a multitude of people there. But Brother Kiffin, there's just one that gets healed. One that gets his mercy. One that gets his love. You say, preacher, why did the Lord display his love on just that one guy when there's all kinds of people there? I have no idea. You thought I was going to give you something neat, didn't I? I have no idea. I have no idea. Brother Keith, why in the world that Jesus would look at this one guy and then curiously love this one guy when there's people everywhere that needs a look and needs some love? Why? I don't know. Can I interject myself in the story now? Say, preacher, why does God love you? Preacher, they were probably lost people in that service tonight you got saved. Preacher, how come God loves you? I have no idea. I cannot explain it. I cannot fathom it. But in this world, brother, in this world of billions of people, come on now, y'all think with me. Just let your mind think about this for a minute. In a world of billions of people, you have found God's love. You didn't, get, you, you didn't choose to be born in America. You, you could have just seen to be born in the darkest part of Africa and never know who Jesus was. You, you, you didn't choose none of that. Hey, that brother, I have no idea how all that works. I'm not going to try and figure it out or fathom it or explain it to you. But all I am going to do is rejoice in the fact I am loved. I am accepted. I have no idea why he looked at a messed up wretch like me and said I love you. But 